Okay, we're gonna do lesson 5-2, learning how to use a multiplication table. So we have, we know that this is a factor times a factor equals a product. Factor times a factor equals a product. So on a multiplication table here, these are factors down this side, these are factors down this side, these are products in the middle. So when we're looking at the multiplication problem of six times four equals 42, our factors are six and seven, and our product is 42. So if we look at this one down here, if we found six and seven and went to where these met, our product is 42 right there. So let's take a look up at the top and figure out how to use this multiplication table to find a missing factor. So if we know we have a division problem of eight divided by four, okay? Let me use this here. So we have eight divided by four equals question mark. Okay, eight is our beginning number in our division problem. So we wanna ask ourselves what times four equals eight? We also know we can multiply backwards. Some number times four equals eight. So four times what number equals eight. I know we probably know that, but let's use our multiplication table to see if we can figure that out. So four times what number equals eight? So here's four. Let's go over until we see our product of eight, and let's go up to see what that missing factor is. And it's two. So four times two, they meet at the eight right here. So four times two equals eight. So four times what number? Four times what number equals eight? The first factor in the missing equation, okay, the first factor is four, right? We know that four. We followed our row to our product, which is eight. We looked up and the number that was missing was two. So therefore, four times two, if we follow to where they meet, is eight. So therefore, eight divided by four, remember? Eight divided by four is two, because two times four equals eight. So eight divided by four is two, and we should be able to multiply backwards two times four equals eight. Check. Okay, let's use the multiplication table to find the missing factor and complete the division problem. Okay, 15 divided by three. Draw your mountain over here, your fact family mountain. First number in the division problem is one from the top. So we're asking ourselves three times what equals 15? So three times some number over here is equal to 15. We'll go until you find 15. There it is right there. 3 times some number equals 15. What is that magic number? 5. So 3 times 5 equals 15. So 3 times 5 equals 15. Therefore, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. Check. Okay, you're going to do this part on your own. Write a missing factor for each division problem below, then use the multiplication table to find each missing factor and quotient. So, 24 divided by three. First, you need to write a multiplication problem. So, three times what equals 24, right? Some number times three equals 24. Then use the multiplication table. Three, go find three. Go all the way over till you find 24. Here it is and then look up, and there it is. 
3 times 8 equals 24. Therefore, 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Okay, I want you to do this one and this one. Pause the video. Okay, so this should be 9 times what equals 27. So go to 9. Go all the way over till you see 27. And then go up. And 3 is your missing factor. So 9 times 3 equals 27. Therefore, 27 divided by 9 equals 3. And check. 3 times 9 equals 27. Yes. That's right. Because it's going to be 1 less. One less than that, and two plus seven equals nine. Okay, 56 divided by eight. So eight times what equals 56? So go to your eights, go all the way over to where you see 56, and look up, that should be a seven. So eight times seven equals 56. Therefore, 56 divided by eight equals seven, and remember, Five, six, seven, eight. Eight times seven equals fifty-six. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, good job.